The island of Maui is known for its stunning beaches with crystal clear waters, soft sand, and picturesque scenery. Visitors of the island experience the rich Hawaiian culture with traditional luau's, while the wide range of outdoor activities on the island even includes the unique opportunity to hunt the beautiful and graceful animal that is known for its distinctive spotted coat, the Axis deer. Introduced as a gift from India to King Kamehameha in the late 1800s, Axis deer populations are now thriving on the island of Maui with numbers estimated to be in the tens of thousands. Adventure seekers like myself and friends from Girls With Guns were drawn here for this blend of natural beauty that makes the island so famous, a lot of outdoor adventure, the Hawaiian culture, and of course, an opportunity to create lifelong memories with friends. The Hawaiian Luau is a celebration of the Polynesian culture where family and friends come together. The vibrant and aromatic flower lei that greet us symbolizes love, friendship, and hospitality. This is the perfect beginning and warm welcome to this incredible island. The intricate dancing tells the history of the island, the culture, and people. It is through seeing and experiencing this traditional celebration and hearing the story of Hawaii that make for a memorable evening and highlight of the island experience. in tourist <laughs> and local. Look, I am like pasty white and Pat is bronzed. Look at that. By the end of the week, I will not look um, like the like the box. I match the, the stare of yeah. the box. Maybe I got an old so Hawaiian. Bad. This is the old Hawaiian trick. Yeah, I need that. Yeah. Hey, I got a spray tan in. That's there perfect. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> zeroed and shot out to 200. So now we're going to just go and do a little bit of still hunting and kind of get familiar with the terrain. It was snowing in Oregon this morning and it's hot here. So that's a nice change. side. 
crawling into place. We're careful not to skyline ourselves, for there are seemingly countless access deer in the valley that would be sure to spot our approach. As the day draws closer to the end, the hillside comes to life with the numerous herds of axis deer feeding. We sat and glassed until dark, and despite the large number of deer that we saw, we just didn't glass up the type of buck that I'm looking for. When exploring the world, it seems like every step leads to a new discovery. That is what makes the experience of travel so rewarding. So what are these right well, here? Guavas. Okay, so. The, the deer and the pigs love them. And they make, you know, like guava juice, uh -huh. guava jam. You can eat them. Interesting. If you peel, they're best if you peel the outside. Okay. And then you can, um, all the fruit and the nectars on the inside. And the, um, oh, yeah. the, you can eat the skin, but the pulp is the best. It has all those seeds in it. Uh -huh. Yeah, all the game birds, everything loves them. Oh. Isn't that good? That's like super good. And then in the fall, we get, um, it's called Vivi. Uh huh. It's like a strawberry guava. Mm hmm. Those are really good. Yeah. Pretty tasty, huh? That's like the, super the, good. That one in the ground will probably be ripe. That'll be a good one. No, this is ripe. Is it? Oh yeah, it's like really good. Like I'm gonna eat the whole thing. It's oh, like, good. it's really good. Yeah. As we continue our trek, we encounter one of Hawaii's most recognizable species, wild boar. And chances are, he was drawn into the area for the guava fruit that I had just been enjoying. That was pretty cool. I was wanting to see if they would predator call in the way a javelina will, and he was curious, oh, yeah. but he wasn't like coming into the yeah. call, you know, but uh, that was neat if he would have been a little older. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. But we don't want to blow our deer hunts. Yep. <laughs> We're not going to let a pig slow us down from deer hunting just yet. We'll have to wait. Uh, yeah, we'll to see. yeah. This is one of these like little hidden gems of Hawaii that as a kid, like I always saw growing up in a book and to be here and you know, you walk into these deep crevasses and find these little pools of water and you know places that provide like everything that these animals need to exist is it's a pretty prehistoric feeling actually um i feel like I'm in a nat geo movie <laughs> uh, it's unlike any other place i've ever hunted it's really spectacular i keep saying that but it's true pretty dang windy today, but it just keeps swirling on us. Like you think you have this rock solid wind direction and then you go over the next little hill and it's going the complete opposite way. <laughs> and these deer are so jumpy. Uh, it's gonna make things interesting. So it's a lot like elk hunting. They're in big herds, primarily grazers. You know, they'll feed at night. First thing in the morning, they're booking it to the bedding areas. Yeah. So. We'll just cover ground, and try to find the herds, and it's kind of you're you're either in them or you're out of them. So try to dig out a good buck. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So some of these bucks are in velvet, and some are hard horned. Yeah, they're all. You know, most of them are born in the spring, and early winter, but they'll um, once the fawns drop, it kind of determines you know how far along they are when they're born, as far as their hard antler or in velvet. But yeah, they. Pretty much, you know, they're all within about a month or two of each other, but you can get the whole gamut this time of year.
we went out last night and um saw one decent buck nothing super super huge he didn't give a great shot opportunity anyway so we're back out here this morning we're on a different farm and i'm um, hoping to catch these deer before they go and bed down for the day it's really short hunting hours because of the heat That was so awesome. We um, we got so busted, <laughs> like seriously, first thing. Pat spotted these deer and um, we just decided to make a play because as you can see the terrain around here, when they're feeding, they're out here at daylight and then they're literally gone. And we had one little group of does down here totally bust us, blew and took off and we decided to just keep working up, up this mountain and uh, popped over the ridge and this buck was with these does in here. And um, man, I just feel like God was, <laughs> God was in on this one because there are so many eyeballs and these deer are so cagey and I had to wait for them to filter around each other. And you know, I'd get a good look at the buck and there'd be a doe in front. And I just, I had to wait for that perfect shot right before they went in the timber because they're gone, gone in Hawaii <laughs> when they hit the timber. Uh, perfect shot, such an awesome morning, it's beautiful. Uh, this is island life, man. It does not get any better than this. Look at how beautiful this buck is. Now, what did you call these back forks? The coddle points. The coddle points. Yeah, so he's got everything. He's got good brows, big coddles. I think he's over 33. Right wow, he's, he's a monster. Yeah, that's a really good buck. You know, this is an exceptional free range animal. Now, these deer species were a gift. Yep. And um, what a gift for the island to be able to come here now, like as a mainlander, <laughs> to come here and hunt these is wonderful. Yeah, they were, they were brought in in the 1800s as a gift to Kamehameha from a Chinese emperor. Wow. Right from India. And you know, it's pretty neat because they're all free range, wild, just big private ranches. And he um, just scraped his velvet, which is yep. really unusual this time of year. Uh, there's, we've seen, like yesterday, we saw a lot of bucks that were in the velvet. And for this guy to be hard horned and an exceptional buck like this, what what an incredible Easy. hunt. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's Appreciate great, it. Great yeah, I know. It's, I love Hawaii. <laughs> One of the most celebrated aspects of hunting is sharing in the harvest. And for my Axis buck, I was excited to prepare a bit of an unusual taco feast for my friends by serving up the heart and kidneys. And I must admit that Axis meat is some of the finest eating meat that I have sunk my fork into.
in like 500 yards. I was a really awesome stock. I have never seen access deer until today and I'm really excited to the fact that we saw 200 ish access deer and you said there was about 94 bucks yeah, in that herd. Yeah, a bunch. Yep. And some good ones. There was some really nice bucks in there. This is good so we have a good plan for in the morning. I'm yeah, we excited. Yeah. yeah, hopefully they'll just feed down in the morning and we'll be able to set up where yeah, you we'll said that. Yeah, we'll try intercept them. Mm -hmm. yep. That'll be great. Catch them going to their bedding. Let's do it. Danny? Yes! Yes! I'm so excited, thank you. Oh, he's beautiful. I've never been up close to one. Oh my gosh. He's still in the velvet. Oh yeah, yep, well done. I've never shot anything in the velvet before. Really? No. Wow, oh, he's a nice buck. Thank you for your life. Congratulations. Mm, I'm always so grateful. Yep. They feed my family. Yeah, and the meat, when in the velvet, they're fat, and they're really good eating. Like, this is the best meat. That's what I hear. It's really good. We are going to enjoy you. Yeah, he's got big oh, wow. eye guards. You can tell he's an older buck. I'm so happy. I just I'm sent you. I sent Nur and Liv a, a picture of your buck. And they sent this back. Tell her. Good job, Mommy. <laughs> Good job, Mommy. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. Oh, she's oh. my whole heart. <laughs> I have that one proud, and this one was kicking right before I took the shot. So Aww. they're going to be little hunters. Your family loves you so much. I know. It makes me like... <laughs> Well, they're here with you, so that's awesome. I know. Yeah. Just to be able to bring the girls is like one of the most important things for me to like show them that this is the lifestyle. This is how we provide. This is how we eat meat. And it's more too than just the hunt. It's about the journey and about friendships and the family. Having John here has been incredible too. Oh, he's just eating up these mountains. He loves it. He's <laughs> in his element. I it's love a, it. It's great for the whole family. Like I, that's why I love traveling with my husband too, because you know, like on this trip, we, you have your husband, you have your sister-in-law, you have your daughter, you have your friends, and we're all here together. Mm -hmm. And this is what it's really all about. It's it really is. Uh, it's the most important part to me. And so many people don't see that whole aspect of hunting and what it is to us because it's so much more than just the kill it's it's about the whole journey mm -hmm. i wouldn't have come if it weren't for you like this wasn't even on the radar for right. me and what an incredible journey it's been it's been awesome i love that we were able to spend mornings at the beach and yeah. then go out and do a luau in the evening and then go hunting paradise <laughs> <laughs> While the island of Maui remains a spectacular destination for the beachgoer, it now holds a fond place in our hearts as our time spent here has enriched our lives and gleefully filled our freezers. This adventure is one that I hope to repeat someday in the not too distant future.
For more Pursue the Wild, jump behind the scenes with us for our new lifestyle digital series, Our Wild Life. And make sure to tune into our podcast, Wild and Uncut. We appreciate you being part of our journey.